Hello, my name is Jennifer Tarango and I help middle-aged mamas reach their fitness goals through modified workouts and simple nutrition tips. So if this is your first time working out with me, make sure you click that subscribe button so you never miss a workout or a training. So today we're gonna to be doing a weighted ab and core workout on the floor. So um, if you have a hard time getting up and down off the floor, you can try doing these moves on your bed um, or on the couch. Um, it's gonna be softer, then uh, you know, not as stable as doing it on the floor, but you can still get some of the benefits. You also need a dumbbell because we're gonna do some weighted moves today um, or a kettlebell or something to add some resistance. If you're just starting out and you wanna do the moves without weight, you can do that as well. Um, okay, we're gonna do four warm up moves. So 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And then we'll move into our four um, exercises for the day and we'll go through that little circuit twice. Um, so again, the whole workout is 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We won't use the weight during our warm up, so just make sure that um, you have some space to lay down and we will get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna start on our back, feet about hip width apart, heels close to the bottom, and we're just gonna take our glute bridge here, so just lifting up and down. Good, so we just exhale. Squeeze the glutes and abdominals. And take it down. Good. Exhale, lift. And down. If you want to add some arms, you can. Good. We have about five seconds. And time. Good. Now we're going to come into this tabletop position, drawing the navel into the spine. Good, and we're just gonna take a toe tap here. So we're just tapping one toe down and then up. Good, right here, let's go. Keep that belly button pulled into the spine. Good. Draw that navel in, so make sure your back, lower back is not arching here. Make sure you're breathing. Fine, good, pulling those knees in, a little stretch. Next, we're gonna take a dead bug, so it's opposite arm, opposite leg, and reach. So it'll be right here. Ready, let's go, so. Good, so again, make sure that you're pulling those legs right back in perpendicular here. Exhale, squeeze, drawing that navel into the spine. Good. And time, good. Next, we're gonna um, take our arms out to the side and we're just gonna take a little windshield wiper here, so. Ready, let's go. So we're just letting those knees fall side to side. Using those obliques to pull it back into the center. Good, so it doesn't have to be a big movement. Good, keeping that navel pulled into the spine. And time, awesome job guys. Okay, so now we're gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate our exercises. Um, so our first move is going to be, uh, you're gonna have your weight, your dumbbell or kettlebell in one hand. You're gonna come into your glute bridge here, and then we're gonna take a chest fly. So the elbow is slightly bent here. We're pressing through the heel, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the abdominals, and then taking that long lever move, so you're having to stabilize through the core here. Then we're gonna tap the bottom down, lift. So that's move one. Move two is just the other side. Good. So then our third move is a pullover crunch. So our legs are up. We have some options here. Good. We're gonna bring the weight back. Um, so the arms are straight here. They can be a slight bend in the elbow. So we're gonna take this pullover, 
Exhale, press the weight up towards the toe, weighted toe crunch here. Good, so we come down and exhale. You can also take an alternating leg drop here if you like. To make this a little bit more intense, keeping that belly button pulled into the spine. Good, so that's our second move, third, sorry, third move. And then our fourth move is bicycle crunches. So this is not a weighted move. We're gonna bring the legs up in parallel, lifting the shoulder blades off the floor using the abdominals, and then take a nice twist here. So those are our four moves. Well, let's get started. Okay, we have about five seconds. So weight is over the chest, right over the shoulder. Ready, let's go. We lift up, fly, stabilizing through those core muscles, and down. Good, make sure you're breathing. Good guys, about 10 seconds. Almost there. And time, good. Switching sides. Again, drawing that navel into the spine. Weights right over the shoulder here. Ready, let's go other side. Good, stabilize through the core. Good, squeezing those glutes, squeezing those abdominals. Good, about halfway. Awesome job. Five seconds. And time, getting ready for those pullover crunches. If it hurts to have your legs straight, you can always have your legs bent as well. Remember, we have the option of the alternating leg drop. Ready, let's go. So here's your pullover. Exhale, squeeze, press that weight up. Here's the leg drop if you wanna add that in. Ready for those uh, bicycle crunches or crisscross crunches? Lifting the shoulder blades off the floor. Ready, let's go. Good, bringing those legs right back to perpendicular. So try not to pull the knees all the way in because that will get those hip flexors engaged and take some of the work out of those abdominals. We want to keep all that work in the abdominals here. And time. Good guys, recover. 30 second break, grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna go through all those one more time. Okay, about five seconds, grab that weight. Weight's right over the shoulders, getting ready for that glute bridge. Ready, let's go. Good, stabilizing through those core muscles. Good, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abdominals. Good, strengthening those core muscles. Awesome job, guys. Last one, and time. Good, getting ready to go to the other side. So weight is right over that shoulder. Ready, let's go. We squeeze up, take that long lever move. So it really challenges the core. Good. Make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath.
Good, about five seconds, you got this. Stay with it. And time, good. Getting ready for those pullover crunches. We have that optional leg drop here. Again, if it feels better to bend the knees, you can. Ready, let's go. So we take that pullover to that weighted toe crunch here. Good, adding that leg drop if you like. Again, stabilizing, keeping those abdominals pulled in, using those core muscles to stabilize here. Good, really exhale, squeeze, draw that navel into the spine. Last one. Getting ready for those bicycle crunches. Last round here. Ready? Let's go. Good. Again, not pulling the knees all the way in, keeping them perpendicular to the floor. Good, guys. Almost there. Five seconds. And time. Awesome job. Let's grab a quick sip of water and then we'll stretch for a second. Okay, good job guys. Go ahead and pull those knees into the chest. Just give yourself a little rock side to side. Releasing any lower back tension. Good, go ahead and pull that right knee into the chest, extending the left leg out. Releasing through that lower back here. Good, inhale, exhale, just let that knee fall across the body, extending uh, the opposite arm out, looking over the opposite shoulder. Good. Pull back in, bend that left leg, cross the right leg over, pull the knees in towards the chest, little stretch through the glutes. With each exhale, just releasing a little further into the stretch. Good job, guys. And let's switch other side. Extending that right leg out, pulling that left knee into the chest, releasing through the lower back. Think about, um, Dropping the shoulders here, so they're not up by the ears. Good, inhale, exhale, let that knee fall across the body. Opposite arm extends out, looking over the opposite shoulder. Good, and pulling that left knee in. Bend that right leg across, the left leg over, pull the knees in towards the chest. You can grab behind the thigh or below the knee for a better stretch here. Breathing into that glute, releasing with each exhale. Good. Either rolling onto your side and pressing up or rocking yourself up to sit, sitting. Good guys, let's just take a little neck stretch. One ear to shoulder, opposite hand presses down. Another side. Good. And back to center. Good. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, awesome job guys, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so you never miss a workout. I will see y'all next week. Mwah.